What's up guys, Paul from the Sysadmin channel bringing you the best tips and tools for your Sysadmin journey. In this video, we're going to cover how to enable SSL for IIS. Let's get started. So I've opened up my Chrome browser and went to webtool.thesysadminchannel.com and just to show you that SSL is not enabled. Uh, we can see here that it's pointing to HTTPS, but since it's not configured, we're getting the error, uh, the site can't be reached. So let's go ahead and fix that now. For this demo, I'm not going to be using a self-signed cert, but instead a real public SSL certificate that I got from Let's Encrypt. If you guys are interested in how to do that, um, I'm going to link what I've done in the description. All right, so moving on. As I've mentioned, I've got my SSL cert here on my desktop, so I'm going to run uh, this PFX file so we can import the certificate through the cert wizard. All right, and here I'm going to set the star location to local machine and accept the UAC prompt. Since I double click the file, it's already pre-populated with the file path, so I just need to click next there. Um, here, I'm going to enter in my password that I use when I set up the cert so I can import it to the personal store, which we'll do now. All right, we do see our import was successful, so that's good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is open up our cert manager. So I'm going to go to MMC and then open up the cert manager snap-in. So we'll go to file, add, remove snap-in, select computer account there. And here we're just going to see that our sysadmin channel cert is imported successfully. And when I click on it, we can see that the expiration date is set for 90 days and it's issued to the sysadminchannel.com. All right, really quick, if I go into the details tab, we can confirm that it's from Let's Encrypt. And if I scroll down just a little bit more, we can confirm that the SANS are for this domain. All right, perfect. That is exactly what we want. All right, so let's go ahead and close up Cert Manager here and uh, let's go ahead and open up IIS. So if you've been following this series, you might recall that we've set up a separate site for our web tool app under sites. Uh, so let's go ahead and select that. While in there, I'm going to right click web tool and then go to edit bindings. And here I'm just gonna wanna add a new binding. So we're gonna set the type to HTTPS. The host name is going to be set to the name that we want it. In our case, it's going to be webtool.thesysadminchannel.com. And just a little further down under the SSL certificate dropdown, we're going to select the certificate that we just imported now. All right, so once that is done, we'll go ahead and expand host name so we can see that there are entries for HTTP and HTTPS. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click on the HSTS on the right hand side, select enable and then redirect HTTP to HTTPS. And this will allow us to automatically redirect so that it always uses a secure connection without someone specifically typing in HTTPS in the URL. All right, now that we have that set up, all that's left to do now is test. So let's go back into our Chrome browser. And the first thing I wanna do is test the redirection. So I'm going to specify HTTP in the browser. And here you can see that it is showing with the lock icon, which means that it is using the valid SSL certificate that we set up. And just for kicks, I'm going to do that again, just to make sure that it is working as expected. All right, cool. So if we go and click on the new hire page, we can also see that it is redirecting to HTTPS, which is good. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. This is Paul with the SysAdmin channel, signing out.